SQL Server Programming and Database Design for Developers. This is Kalman Talk. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. Let's consider the topic of uh, date, date time, date time two, data types. There are lots of confusion surrounding these data types and the basis for confusion is the string representation of dates. So we have to be very careful when we are thinking about the internal representation of date, date time and when we are thinking about the external representation in string formats which uh, are many and uh, they are changes by uh, it changes from country to country so when we convert to date type take the current timestamp which is the ANSI function system function it's the same as get date system function which is only transact SQL we get the date in date format so there is no time attached. If we convert to date time we are going to get the date time as well. This is the hour, minutes, seconds and uh, milliseconds. This is the external representation by this client software which is Management Studio. This is not how internally a date time represented. This is how date time is represented internally. Of course, this is quite unreadable. So this is one byte, two bytes, three bytes, four bytes. This is the day count from 1900-01, January 1st. And this is the tick count, which is like... Uh, three milliseconds from midnight. So this is the internal representation. And it doesn't matter you are in Germany, Russia, United States, or Japan, the internal date time representation is the same. When a new data type has been added, the date time two, this is more accurate than uh, the date time and we use uh, sysdatetime sys date time function to populate it because this has uh, extra accuracy. When we convert to string, in this case we use the style number one, we are getting the string result like this. When we use style number 101, we get the string results like this. So again, this is a string representation. This is not the internal representation. The internal representation for date time is this one. It is different for date, with three bytes, and is different for date time too. But what we are talking about, the internal representation is pretty unreadable. So, And um, to see some of the other conversions. Let's take a look at the format functions and from also more examples for the convert function with a style number. The format function is new to SQL Server 2012. So if we just put D, we get the date in this format. Now this format is MDY, the US format. But in UK, the DMY format is used to add more to the confusion. And uh, to get the date in the desired format, this is the ANSI format for the date. If you have to use string dates, this is the best format. This is international. 
Now, don't ask me why you have to capitalize MM. This is some kind of a programming thing, but you have to remember it. Very likely the reason that MM is uh, used in the time part as, uh, as lowercase, so we have to use uppercase in, uh, the, in for months. And in this instance, we get the time as well. Let's uh, take a look at uh, some of the conversions at this, uh, which are listed at this web page. So this is with style number 100, no style number, and here we see style number 101 all the way through 108. These are the so-called century conversions. If we just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's the without century date time conversions. This is the ISO format date. So this is a good date format to use because this is international. This is uh, similarly, if we have hyphen, hyphen, that should be okay as well. And we see annual international date, ISO date is uh, the 1 to 6 format, where is T for time, separating the date part and the time part. Summary. Date, date time and date time too, and small date time, represented internally in special binary format. Externally, on the other hand, can be represented many, many ways. That also depends on the countries as well. In different countries, the representation of uh, date and time may vary, and even within one country, there may be uh, several ways to represent the time in string format. So we have to be aware always that is this string format representation or internal date time representation. The best way to store date and date time is using the date date time format. It's not good to store date and date time in string formats because it uh, leads to errors, frequent errors in fact, and confusion. This is the end of the short demo.